By no means is this video an instructional video on how to do this experiment safely. This is a look at what I did video and this is not a do what I do video. If you do want to attempt these experiments, only do so if you know and accept the risks. To make a hydrogen generator you need some electrodes. Now I'm using graphite rods I got out of this lantern battery. I'm using graphite because it does not corrode. Now these plastic containers here are food containers and I'm going to make these into the main body of the generator. These travel sized bottles they are going to be used as funnels in order to collect the gases. And of course they have a nice top which I can connect my vinyl tube to. I've connected these to um, containers with a vinyl pipe. Anyways, so the next step is to cut the bottom off this bottle and make a hole in the food lid. So I decided to try and use the router bit of my Dremel and it worked poorly. It didn't cut its way through, it melted its way through and ruined my bit. Nevertheless, you can see the basic idea. I've added this bottle of food container to add some height so I can connect the graphite rods via cables. This pipe connects a positive and negative side and these travel bottles, they collect gases which connect to this lid which connects to my vinyl piping. Now, I wanted to seal all of this, obviously. And in order to do that, I decided to try and use some of this epoxy putty. Now this epoxy putty basically has two components that you mix thoroughly together and it hardens. However, there was a problem. This epoxy putty didn't really like this plastic at all. And as you can see, this happened. Yeah. So it turns out food safe plastic is made from number 5 plastic, which is the most annoying plastic to glue. So I decided to resort to using hot glue. Now the seal, it is there, but it's not a very good seal. Nevertheless, I decided to seal the top of the plastic bottle with some plumbing Teflon tape. Now fun fact, Teflon has a scientific word of polytetrafluoroethylene or PTFE. Poly meaning polymer chains, tetra meaning four, fluoro meaning fluorine, and ethylene meaning two carbon. So there's two carbon and four fluorine atoms per every chain of polytetrafluoroethylene. And it's the fluorine that repels other atoms because it has a high negative electrostatic charge. So I connected up all the wires and tubes and there's still lots of leaks in them. So I'm going to go away and fix all of those leaks and then test this, which will be in the next video. I'm doing this in the next video because it took me a week to get to this point. So I need a video out. So the next video will be in a week. See you then.